Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. We're here giving you a little tech tip for fitting patch panels and making them fit really nicely. So, when you're making a patch panel, you want it to fit as good as possible with a very little gap around the outside edge. The more gaps and inconsistencies that you have will require more filler wire or more welding wire, more heat, and more distortion in the panel, which of course makes it harder to finish out and causes more body work, body filler in the end. So when you're making a patch panel, you want to try nail it, make it fit as good as possible on the first try. Uh, what I like to do if I have a big opening like this where I'm trying to figure out what it needs to be is I'll take some painter's tape, lay it across the opening and I will use my finger to kind of outline the shape in the tape because it has a little bit of give to it. So you can kind of push in with it like a dirty finger, get it to kind of show up. Then I'll take like a, a crayon or a grease pen or a, a pencil, just a normal lead pencil, and I'll trace around that outside edge and it'll show you the line of exactly what the opening needs to be. Lay the tape, cut it out with scissors or razor blade, lay it out on a piece of metal cut it out, trim it with aviation stips exactly to your, your sharp scribe line. Then from there, you can basically just use uh, some little sanders to creep up on it to make it fit perfect. We don't want it to be a tight fit. We have to force it into place. We just want it to basically drop in with very little to no gap around the outside edge and you will get a nice, easy to weld pattern. Um, now, what I like to use for sanding or creeping up on the panel when I'm getting it to fit really nice, I use this little two inch sander here with a 60 or 80 grit sander on the, on the outside um, for the consumable. And I will sand it on the outside of the panel, not hitting the face because we don't want to put that heavy of scratches in it. And you can sand on the outside edge and you can just mark and fit it slowly as you're going uh, and it works really well. Then I finish it out with a 80 or 120 grit to get everything smooth, all my edges. And when you're test fitting the panel, uh, the most important thing for setting it up and getting it to fit really well and of course stay in place when you're tacking it is use some of these stitch weld magnets. I like them to use them also for little handles when I'm fitting the patch in and testing it because you're going to probably take it in and out a bunch of times to try and get it to fit. Um, so we will use that to fit it in and then you can just slide the, the magnets over to the edges after you're, you got it kind of in place and use the other magnets to keep everything nice and flush. So I will run around the panel, get everything nice and flush, check the edges, make sure that we have almost no gaps anywhere, um, that nothing's binding, and there we are. We're pretty much ready to set it up and weld it. I will jump around and weld far from the magnets as possible. I'll try and spread them out. You wanna stay like two to three inches away from the magnets when you're welding because they will react with your weld. And then just jump around with the magnets, moving the magnet over, tack, move it over, and you'll slowly get everything to fit really, really nice. Then you can take your magnets away, weld it up, grind it, and have a really nice finished panel. So that's how I do patch panels like this where we have a big opening and we're trying to make it fit and be a nice seamless repair. A couple of those little tips, if you do those, will definitely help you and get you a really nice finish that'll require minimal body filler. Thanks guys for watching. If you want to check out any products I talked about, you can click the links below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks guys. Catch you later.